Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. Following a sold-out run at the Public Theater, the Janine Tesori and Lisa Krohn musical Fun Home, which is directed by Sam Gold, has come to Broadway's Circle in the Square Theater. And we're here on opening night to celebrate with the company, led by Michael Cerberus and Judy Kuhn. I Kuhn. wanna play airplane. I wanna play airplane. I wanna play opening night on Broadway. How do you feel? I feel just deliriously happy and unusually relaxed. So, What has this whole experience been like working on this show and revisiting and reinventing for Broadway? Well, you know, it's really interesting because uh, Cherry Jones had come to see our show a lot in uh, Down at the Public and I saw her tonight on the front row at the Bows and it was just like the perfect kind of closure moment. She had said, because I was a little nervous about I wanted to just move right away if we possibly could, and um, and I was afraid that the time in between would, you know, we'd lose momentum or we'd lose that, you know, that mojo. And and she said, I know what you mean, but she had just had the experience of doing Glass Menagerie up in Boston and had brought it down to Broadway. And she said, trust me, you will you will be grateful for the time, and it will. Without you even trying, it will marinate in the back of your mind and your cells, and and it will. You'll be glad that there was time, and you'll and it will not feel tiring. And um, and sorry. <laughs> and then Roberta Collinger's walks by, and you just forget about everything else. Um, and but and working on this piece, I mean, this is such a groundbreaking musical. Working with Janine and Lisa on this, and Sam. Well. I can't think of three people I would rather be guided by and, and led by and and, uh, and challenged by. Um, Janine, Janine and I have known each other from my first Broadway show. Um, and, uh, and so I feel like we're kind of like artistic soulmates from a long time. I mean, you know, we were drinking German beer together in Offenbach, Germany, doing Tommy, so there's really no greater bond. Um, Lisa, I feel, you know, writes, writes your mind before you can even think it. And Sam, Sam is someone I, as a director and a, and a man that I will just trust completely with, with, uh, with anything that I hold dear and I hold this show very, very dear. So Michael, when you took your bow tonight, do you remember what you were thinking? I was thinking... I was thinking that I love these people that I'm standing on stage with so much and that... Um, and that if it all ended, you know, today, it would have been the only place I wanted to be. It's harder when you're older to begin. Peeling plaster, sagging roof, two missing stairs, a buckle wall. I'm fired up to do this, but on my own, it all so much damage, broken windows, pipes are shit, crap veneer. It's hours later, Jesus, I'm still standing. What has the whole process been like for you with reinventing this for Broadway? Well, I follow Sam Gold's lead. Sam said I want to do it in the round. And so I, I thought, I actually Googled musicals in the round. I Googled it because I didn't know what the hell it was. I have only seen one musical in the round. It was Zorba yeah. at the Westbury Music Fair. I was there. I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> and that was, when was that, the 80s? No, 70s. Oh, yeah. So it was 70s, that was it? Yeah. So I've never done, so I didn't know, and so I, I literally had to go in and do a little bit of research on what that meant for the piece, and um, uh, I, 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 you know, I'm like a lemming with Sam Gold. Yeah. He walks off the cliff, out I go. Yeah, yeah. The whole process of working on this for Broadway, what has it meant to you? What it, the process, going back into rehearsal again, tell me. You know, we did a really great thing on this. We, um, we split it up, which I've never been able to do. There is a, a thing that happens, and I, I think it's very common in a show, that the first two weeks are great. 
and then the third week everybody gets cranky and sick of each other and it wears off and then you really have to go to work. We did two weeks in December where Sam restaged into in the round and then we took a giant break and then started again in March. And that was great because they got used to this new configuration but then our third week had the energy of a first week. It was really great and we rehearsed in a church. The last time I was in this church was when a friend of mine who had died of AIDS in 1992 I was there um, for his memorial and the next time was to do Fun Home. Isn't that great creative synergy? Unbelievable. Because you know he was in that room with you. He was, it was so, you know, I, I, I burst into tears when I walked in the first time. Just working on this piece, I know this is, this is such a groundbreaking musical and just collaborating with Lisa and Sam on this and Alice and what it's meant to you and just working on it. You know, everybody's, um, it, it reminds me of, in a way, being on the PGA Tour, not that I've ever done that, but, you know, you look to your left and you look to your right and you think, oh my God, this is a group of great art artists. This is the Algonquin Roundtable at Musical Theater. Everybody's, everybody's bringing it. I want to bring it. So it's the greatest form of competition, which is when you want to be better than the last thing that you did. I don't want to be better than them. I want to be the best version of myself, what I bring in. And that's been completely joyous. And Sam runs a really good room. He's calm and focused and, and clear. Congratulations. It's Broadway with Fun Home. How do you feel? Uh, stunned. Yeah. Happy. Yeah. You know, we spoke during rehearsals for Broadway. You guys all reinvented this for Broadway yeah. with Sam. I mean, yeah. who would have thought that you would have gone from a proscenium like, let's go to Broadway, I let's know. do it in the round. I know. It's, well, it's wild. It's so intimate. Yeah. The furthest seat away is like a, is like a house yeah. seat in a proscenium house. I mean, you're so, wherever you are, you're so close. It's so intimate. It's really, really great. You know, I was talking to Janine, for us as an audience, and I'm sure for you, there's energy coming from every direction as opposed to just going out into a house and coming back. I know. It's incredible. Uh, and, you know, um, it's, it's, it was really um, exciting and fun and like a master class to watch Sam and the designers uh, reconceive this for that um, for that configuration and so much clarity you know so much uh, I don't know the storytelling in the staging and in the and in the set you know the the set and the lights they're like dramaturgical it's really satisfying for me talk about working on this piece collaborating with Janine what that has all meant to a bringing you know if you wish it a Broadway tonight with fun home I mean I think people do theater because you make it together because there's no part that can exist independently I think people who do community theater Theater, people who do high school theater, that feeling of the interdependence of that creative process is why people do it. And this is that experience at the at, with the, the greatest artists, you know? And I think the kind of um, uh, openness and generosity that people had and willingness to not know something. And you know, there were many, many, many times uh, through this whole process where we did not know how to make something work. And I think everybody in the room was willing to say, I don't actually know. And then somebody would say, well, can we try it this way? And everybody would say, okay, yeah, let's look at it. And that willingness yeah. to not know and to try whatever for nobody to ever say without looking at something, that's a bad idea. I mean, it was just an incredible, uh, great, um, collaboration. You can see that. You can see that with the piece. Yeah. And just tonight, when you took your bow with the cast, remember what you were thinking? I mean, I just love them so much. And uh, eight people in our cast, that tonight was er, their first opening night on Broadway. We have eight people who've never been on Broadway before. That's so moving to us. Our beautiful children who are in the cast, you know, and they're just, Judy Kuhn told me the two boys are behind her when they come out for their curtain call every night. And she said if she doesn't walk fast enough, she can feel them bumping up against her because they're so excited to get on stage and take their bows. And, um, uh, you know, it's, you know, from Michael who's been on Broadway 10 times and Judy also was a legend and, um, you know, I, I, I mean, I don't know, we're just very lucky. Everybody is just crazy about each My other. My dad and I were exactly alike. I see everything. Caption. My dad and I were nothing alike. Maps show you what is simple and true. Try laying out a bird's eye view. What do you know that's not your dad's mythology? 
I love this. Isn't it fantastic? Yeah, totally. I feel so badass. I bet you could just move in that so freely. Hey, what's up? Yeah, oh, yeah, that's cool. I was going like this earlier. I borrowed someone's sunglasses and I was like, or I was like this. Yeah, the, the president is moving. The president is moving. I'm like living out all my fantasies. That's amazing. Okay. Just this whole experience, what it has meant to you working on Fun Home. Well, okay. <laughs> um, it's meant, it, I get very, it, it has been my life's work. No matter what else I've been doing in the last three years, I've always had a piece of my mind working on the puzzle of Fun Home, working on the world of Fun Home and the character of Allison. She's been with me for the last three years and I am always, I follow Allison's blog and you know, my wife will come in the room and she'll be like, what are you doing? I'm like, just reading Allison's blog and just like <laughs> keeping up with her and, and just keeping, even when I'm not working on it, I keep one foot in Beach Creek, you know? And that is, that is something, um, because it's a tough nut to crack, because it hasn't been fully realized until now, until this version of it, it's like, what is it? What, what essentially am I doing? And how do you play it? How do you find playable things within that? So, as an actor, there, it, it's been a very, um, uh, uh, galvanizing journey because I, I've had to really really um, knuckle down and find ways to play things that aren't on the page necessarily but are happening you know there's a lot happening in my in my life in in this hour and a half on the stage that that I don't have like text to go with um, you know the, the song maps there's a lot going on in within that sh that song so I, I spend a lot lot of time in my head I spend a lot of time on the page I journal incessantly about about what what essentially is happening during maps and what the journey is and where's the turning point and and and, and uh, you know it, it's been a it's been a puzzle like a glorious puzzle to keep that your mind just keeps working on for years welcome back to Broadway what a way to return oh I know I feel so lucky I can't imagine doing anything else right now <laughs> What has this whole journey been like for you, Judy, with working on Fun Home? I, I have to say it's been one of the best experiences of my working life. I, I mean, first of all, I love all the collaborators, Lisa Crone, Janine Tesori, Sam Gold, all the designers. They're incredible people. They're great artists. They were so collaborative. I don't think I've ever been involved in something from such an early stage. I mean, I really did one of the very first readings when the show was in its infancy. And so I feel like I got to be a part of the growth of this piece. And I mean, it really went through a lot in the last three and a half years. And I, it's just was a very exciting process to be a part of. And I'm passionate about the material. You know, it's been reinvented every time I've seen it. Now you're in the round. I mean, is that exciting? for you? Really exciting. I mean, Sam is quite an extraordinary director and I, it, I'm told it was his idea and that he, he said, you know, if we're going to pick this up and move this uptown, let's rethink it. Let's rethink what's the best way to do this. And he, it was his idea. To, cause he said, he said let, let, let's look at Circle in the Square. I think it should be in the round. And he was absolutely right. I mean, it's really extraordinary how it transforms the piece and it's so great for all the storytelling. You know, for us, it's like we're sitting in your house with you, I like know. that other person sitting, observing what's happening. I know. Well, I mean, when has it ever happened that you take a piece from a small, intimate, off-Broadway theater, move it to Broadway, and it feels more intimate? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. And working with this cast. I love every single one of them. Every single one of them. I mean, I was talking to some of them before the show, and we were saying, how, you know, every show, there's always something that, you know, you wish you could change about. There's nothing about this experience I would change. Not a person, not, not a note, not a word, nothing about it that I would change. And how this show touches audiences. It's really extraordinary. I mean, you look out there at the curtain call and everyone's on their feet and you see people of every age, gender, sexual orientation, race. I, I, 
wiping tears away and smiling and applauding and it really has a profound effect on people. So my final question is when you took your bow tonight on Broadway in the show, do you remember what you were thinking? I just felt overwhelmed. I just it was I just so happy that we were that we're here and we're in this space and that people are just embracing the show and I was so happy to be sharing the stage with everyone and then when when Sam and Lisa and Janine and Allison and all the design everybody came out on stage with us it really was a very special moment You look gorgeous. It is opening night. It is your Broadway debut. How do you feel? How would you feel when you've wanted to be on Broadway ever since you were born? And at age 11, you finally fulfilled your dream. That, that's how I feel. It's, it is a dream come true. And to be in this show, to be a part of Fun Home, what it means to you? Um, I think I think the story needs to be heard because some people don't let people be who they are and um, by holding them in and by not letting them be who they are it could end up very sad. Singing this beautiful score tell me about that singing the songs Oh, singing, oh, um, well, all of my, all of the songs in the show are my favorites. I think, um, I think if I had to pick three songs that are not only amazing to listen to, but amazing to perform, I, I like, I definitely like Come to the Fun Home, who wouldn't? I love Ring of Keys, and... I love Days and Days, how Judy performs that, and of course Telephone Wire, it makes me cry. Like the whole show does, right? The whole show makes me cry. Um, uh, uh, last Tuesday we went through a little read through of the show, and we hadn't been able to do that in a while, like actually get to see each other and it made me cry once again. Working with this cast, what a dream cast you're working with. Tell me about your fellow actors working with them. Um, so I am not experienced on Broadway and sometimes I can get a little nervous but then Michael and Judy come to the rescue and help me because they know what they're doing. <laughs> Definitely and I love little Zell, oh my gosh, Zell and I love Oscar and we're family, yeah. And working with Sam Gold, you're working with one of the finest directors. What that's been like for you, the whole process? Tell me. He's so amazing in the way, the what he's done in the round and circle in the square. I mean, I was a little nervous at first, but it is so fantastic. I have no idea how he did it, but he did. So I was going to ask you, how much fun are you having in the round? Because I saw you in the proscenium, and now you're in the round. Is it is it fun? Yeah, it actually it actually helps you connect a little bit, and because you know, there really isn't something like there isn't really something called cheating in the round. Um, so you can really turn however you want and you but you have to have a reason why you're turning and that helps you um, that not only helps you memorize your lines but helps you connect better you know for us it's like we're sitting in the fun home with you it's really great to sit yeah. sit in the round very very intimate yeah. my final question is for you when you took your bow tonight making your Broadway debut do you remember what you were thinking I did it 
I did it. Um, that That's what I was thinking. Congratulations. You were making your Broadway debut. I How am. do you feel tonight? Tell Amazing. me. I'm just on cloud nine right now. It feels so surreal and just so great. I mean, yeah. to be making your Broadway debut with Fun Home and working with this creative team. It's incredible. It's incredible. And I feel so honored that I'm making my debut with a show that's so socially and politically important and so beautiful and matters to so many people. I feel like I'm just so spoiled for the future. What's going to come next? I feel like I'm on cloud nine. <laughs> you are so great watching you. Tell me what you love about Allison and playing her, the middle Allison. I love the way she thinks. Yeah. She's so quick-witted and she doesn't have um, any kind of shame with her wit or her verbosity. She's, she's constantly investigating things and constantly curious, which is so great as an actor to be able to have a character that is constantly curious and investigating. It keeps it new every night and yeah, it's very great. Working with Janine, Lisa and Sam. Just a dream team. A dream team. A dream come true. They're, they're incredible. They fit so well and they work so well together. Yeah. What's the biggest lesson you've learned from Sam? He's one of our finest directors. He is one of our finest directors. Um, to tell the story. It's all about figuring out how to get from one place to another, um, investigating uh, how you get from one little place to another, just going step by step. Uh, has really just, I think, enlightened me as an actor, completely changed my work. And working with this cast? It's a dream. I mean, I've watched some of them from afar and admired them for so long, and um, to, ha to call them mom and dad now is just like surreal. Some days I'm sitting there and I, I can't believe I'm, I can't believe I'm there. <laughs> so when you took your bow tonight on Broadway for your debut, do you remember what you were thinking? I, I was crying. I was crying. Yeah. Well, and the last thing I see in the show is Beth, um, and I'm always just so proud of her. She she has this incredible journey that she makes yeah. every single night, and and I feel you know a kinship to her. We're the, playing the same character, and and I love her so much as a human that I'm always just ending the show with like, wow, Beth, you you did it. You made it through this marathon of a show. Okay, Hi. it's your Broadway opening. How do you feel tonight? It's a very surreal uh, feeling because we've worked so hard for so long and you feel like wait wait rehearsal must be tomorrow we must have more work to do you know I haven't quite settled into just celebrating yet this has been such a game changer I mean I've seen this through all its incarnations here in New York and now it's in the round what's that been like for you reinventing the show it's I feel so lucky that I had producers that wanted to support me trying something new because I think the show is very unique and I knew I could deliver really unique exciting production and, and I'm really happy with it so I've seen so many shows at Circle of the Square since 1972. So I mean, you make it so accessible in that space. I mean, were there challenges for you? I mean, the challenge is I had an amazing design team, but the challenges of doing a musical on the round are technical. You know, for me, it's easy. It's about it's about bringing everybody into such an intimate relationship with the performers. That's just a no-brainer, and I feel great about. But you know, trying to make the music sound great in the round, things like that, putting the band on stage, front and center, all of that took a, a really brilliant team to put together. Talk about collaborating with Janine and Lisa. This is such a beautiful show. What that whole process was like for you? I mean, you, when you can see it on stage that everybody got along really well, shared a vision, wanted the same things, and went after them. I think you can really feel it when people on a team, you know, don't quite have the same vision for the show and are fighting for their own vision of the show. I think all three of us wanted the exact same show, and it was a real joy to work on. Take me back to the beginning. How did you first get involved with this show? Uh, you know, Janine and Lisa started working on it, and they didn't have a director, and, and I o sort of overheard them chatting about it on a writer's retreat, and I was just very intrigued by their conversations about how to take a graphic novel and make it into a musical. I thought, ooh, I'd like to direct that. That sounds hard, you know? And what appealed to you about this subject matter? It's such a groundbreaking musical. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. The book just floored me, so I was so emotionally engaged in the story. I'm not even sure why when I look back. Um, it's a very universal story, and, you know, I think I identified both with Allison and with her father. It just it, it moved me so much. Congratulations. Thank you. It's opening night Broadway. How do you feel? I feel incredible. It's my Broadway debut, so it's really just been an incredible ride, and 
incredible to be a part of such a beautiful show and uh, yeah, it's the best I could ever ask for. <laughs> Broadway debut, it has to be surreal, working with this company, your director Sam Gold, Janine, Lisa, I mean, what's going through your mind? It's, um, it's kind of... I've been a part of this production for a few years through labs and uh, workshops and uh, it, it, just being a part of it for so many years, there's no knowing where a show can go and at the beginning I was just so thankful to be a part of a production, let alone to work with someone like Janine Tesori who I had studied in school for so many years, whose music I adored and to now have the opportunity to have her write music that I'm going to sing, it was just mind blowing. So it's just been incredible that it's had such a wonderful trajectory and audiences have really responded to it the way that we were hoping they would. It must be wonderful. You're so close to the audience in the rounded circle in the square. Yeah. I mean, how you see how this touches audiences so. It's, it, it, when we were downtown at the public, uh, the Newman is a small space, but the audience is still pretty far away from the stage. And this show is so small and intimate, and it's about a really small, intimate story with this wonderful family. And uh, just having the opportunity to feel like this, the audience is actually in the home with us, it feels like they're voyeurs into our experience, and it makes it that much more uh, subtle and nuanced. It allows us as actors to, rather than play play things broadly or really like feel like you have to play to the mezzanine or the balcony up top. It's really just, it can be really grounded and really just focus on telling the story. So when you took your bow tonight on Broadway, ah, do you remember what you were thinking? I was just like, holy crap, like this is happening. And it's just like it, beyond my wildest dreams that I think that I'd make my Broadway debut and let alone make my Broadway debut with such a beautiful and important show and something that I feel needs to be on Broadway right now and that audiences have been craving for a long time. You guys are so awesome in this show. It is opening night. How do you feel tonight? I feel just, oh my gosh, I feel so excited that it was just my Broadway opening night debut. Oh my gosh. It was amazing for me and I've been dreaming of this my whole life. Well, ba not my whole life, I'm exaggerating, but basically my whole life. So it's very, it feels very amazing to accomplish that dream. You guys have made your debut so early in your career. It's the coolest thing, right? Today was really cool for you, like the whole day, right? Yeah, it was. It was really, really awesome this whole day. Yeah, this was my dream, and it was just the best day ever for me. Okay, so you guys woke up, right? So what did you do before you got to the theater? Tell me about your day. Um, what did you do? I stayed at home. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did, nothing interesting. Not really nothing interesting either. But well, then you got to the theater, right? I'm sure there were gifts and yeah, all we, these things. We, that, yeah. I, we got there early to give some gifts. Okay. Yeah. Um, it was um, it was really fun um, to like just give gifts because like but like I sometimes lost my way because I didn't even know where all the gifts were because they were like in separate places sure. and it was hard. Uh, oh, something very exciting. I just remembered. Um, it was my brother's family party today and my grandma was and my grandma and grandpa were over. Okay, so how wonderful is it working on this show? Just tell me what it means to you being a part of Fun Home. No, 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 that's how a cool difficult question. It? It's awesome. I, the show is really touching. I really love the show. And it's just awesome. It's amazing. It's The music is awesome. The story is awesome. And I like performing um, real stories. And for you? Um, it is just amazing to be a part of the cast and um, it's just awesome because I have dreamed of this my my whole life because I did my first show when I was one. Wow. Okay, so when you took your bow tonight on Broadway for your debut, do you remember what you were thinking? I 
was thinking, oh my gosh, I just did this with this amazing cast and crew, and it's just a privilege to work with them, and oh my gosh, I'm so happy. And for you, when you took your bow, what were you thinking? I was thinking like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening, oh my gosh.